Hi guys, quick video for you. A friend of mine sent me a link to this radio and he says to me, Chris, is this any good? And this is basically a Baofeng UV5R by the way, but it's the latest version. But I said to him, it'll get you on air. Um, they're not incredibly good, but it'll get you on air. And I said, I'll sell you an iRadio, because I prefer the iRadios. I said, I won't be able to get hold of one for a couple of days though. He said, I'll want one a bit sooner than that. And I said, okay, no problem. And he said, um, can you have a look at it? And I said, okay. So I had a quick look and I thought, doesn't look half bad. So he, I said to him, well, it'll do. You know, not a bad looking bit of kit. 22 quid delivered was uh, this one. But he paid 26 with the programming cable. So... But I already have a programming cable for Balfangs, so I didn't need it. But I thought I'd purchase myself one as well, just to see how good they were, seeing as they're quite cheap. Now, this comes under the name Mysuta, or Misuta, whatever you want to, however you want to say it, which translates to Mister, as in Mister and Mrs. You know the title. So there we go, and the model is Hero. My camera will focus. There you go. Now it's got a dark screen with white text. Where's the button? There you go. And I will say, some of these Chinese handhelds, you press the button and it takes you a second to, you know, for it, for it to compute, as it were. So you press say I just press the AB it might take a second for some of them to go from VFOA to VFOB but now this one fair away the menus are nice and Menu. easy to use so yeah not a bad bit of kit so far so That's the uh, that's the manual. I don't know how Chinglish it is. I've not looked over it yet. It's supposed to have upgraded audio chip, so it's better quality audio apparently. And it's supposed to have upgraded um, upgraded squelch system. I think it said. Basically, it's supposed to cut out more interference, but we'll see. And uh, there's a charger, belt clip, and dock. These are those adapters that are supposed to cause a fire. Don't know if they do, I've never had any problems with them. But, there we go. I'm just packaging. And there's a uh, earpiece. But there we go. I'll show you the back of the radio. It's a little 3 4 inch whip. So I shall probably put a uh, a 771 on here. So we'll see. All right, guys. Well, I'll leave it at that. I'll try the programming software out on the computer. I assume it takes the standard UV5R programming, and I shall come back at this at a later date. Probably do another video tonight. Seven three, guys.